Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Trump is about to make one huge change that every bad government employee should fear. President Donald Trump is about to make one huge change that every bad government employee should fear. You don't want to miss this. For decades, Americans have suffered the cost of a large number of lazy or corrupt government employees who are near impossible to get rid of. Now, Trump is making plans to put an end to that horrific policy and give taxpayers more bang for their buck. According to the Gateway Pundit, Trump is about to make the biggest civil service change seen in decades. I can't speak for everyone, but I like Trump's idea of dropping a bunch of governmental deadweight. The idea behind the president's new plan is to hire the best and fire the worst federal government employees. The proposal is the most ambitious overhaul of civil service in 40 years, according to government officials. USA Today reports that Trump is modeling his new policy after the VA Accountability Act, which gave the Secretary of Veterans Affairs greater power to fire and discipline federal employees. So far, the White House reports that the law has resulted in the termination of 1,479 bad employees the suspension of 433 others, and demotions for 83 of them in 2017. I see this as a win-win situation for both parties. It would be incredibly stupid if Democrats decide not to go along with this new plan to make our government workforce great again. One of the flaws with the current system is that federal employees only get a review every one to three years. Employees found to have fully successful performance receive a within grade step increase in addition to a cost of living increase. About 99.7% of federal employees currently fall within an acceptable performance level. Point one part of Trump's plan includes stretching out the amount of time it takes to go from step 1 to step 10 from 18 years to 27 years. That component alone would save taxpayers $10 billion over the next 10 years. The saved revenue would be awarded to high-performing employees in the form of merit-based raises or one-time bonuses. Not everyone feels positive about the proposal coming from the White House. While to some people those are code words, they're very clear to us, said American Federation of Government Employees President J. David Cox, who represents about 700,000 workers for the federal government in District of Columbia. Basically it wipes out due process rights for employees. Of course, Cox has to be as dramatic as possible to make the biggest impact in the news headlines. No one is going to have their due process wiped out as a result of Trump's plan. They will, however, be forced to actually do their jobs and be accountable should they instead do shoddy work. In regards to Trump, Cox also said, he seems to be interested in political revenge by firing people. The government is not a family business that you get to be in total control of. While some of the president's proposals can be done administratively, others would require congressional approval. During his State of the Union address, Trump called on Congress to empower every cabinet secretary to help overhaul the government. During his presidential campaign, Donald Trump did promise a hiring freeze to reduce the cost of government and to significantly cut back burdensome regulations put in place by former big government administrations. I am sure David Cox sees some sense in President Trump's plan, but the people who sign his paycheck would never allow him to vocalize it. Doc taxpayers are fed up with footing the bill for a crowd of self-entitled and non-performing government employees. It's almost as bad as having to bear the burden of free room and board for convicted murderers who live like parasites. It's way past time for our government to clean itself up.